Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, discussing about olefin polymerization in the last few lectures. Uh, in this regard, we have uh, covered several topics including uh, polyolefin classifications from a material perspective like types of uh, different uh, types of polymers that can be obtained from uh, polyolefin polymerization based on their uh, properties, uh, the polymer material properties like uh, somebody uh, something which is elastic, something which is plastic, something which depends on uh, duroplast, depends on temperature so on and so forth. Uh -huh. And we have also uh, looked into polymer characterization based on the processes uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, the condensation polymers or addition polymers, the reaction they use uh, for making these polyolefins uh, uh, polymers as well as uh, we have uh, distinguished uh, uh, or classified polymers based on the mechanism, step growth mechanism and chain growth mechanism. And uh, uh, we have also uh, looked into uh, the uh, polyethylene from the perspective of their uh, different types, classes of polyethylene polymers that are known uh, uh, to uh, uh, the historical perspective of their development uh, from Philip uh, process onwards uh, uh, to nickel effect and then subsequent discovery by Z uh, Ziegler uh, to uh, produce high density uh, polyethylene at room temperature under 1 bar pressure uh, using titanium as catalyst. Now, uh, moving on we have also uh, looked into polypropylene uh, 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 polymerization uh, or polymers and polypropylene was uh, polymerization of propylene which was uh, mainly uh, uh, been attributed to the development by Julia Nata. Uh, and uh, we had seen that how polypropylenes uh, polymers are different uh, from the polyethylene polymers mainly uh, from the orientation of this uh, methyl uh, side chains of the propylene group which can be atactic, uh, syndiotactic, stereoblock, hemi, isotactic so on and so forth. Uh, so, uh, today uh, we are going to uh, go deep uh, delve deep into this polypropylene polymerization. Uh, particularly a, a from the mechanism and the catalyst development point of view. Now, polypropylene so this is uh, Ziegler Nata. Now, the catalyst gives a isotactic polymers. Uh, now, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, this uh, has two uh, main issues uh, with it. Uh, the first is uh, that uh, uh, why uh, uh, isotactic polymer uh, which uh, means that all the uh, methyl groups uh, are on the same side, stacked on the same side. they all uh, appear uh, in the uh, same side uh, and uh, overall uh, they sort of uh, uh, become a, a, a chiral, they, all the carbons have the same uh, configuration. And, uh, uh, these uh, sort of led to two questions uh, uh, regarding the mechanism of polymerization with Ziegler uh, uh, catalysis. The first question being why is polypropylene produced in Ziegler Nata uh, 
process isotactic now this is a important uh, uh, question because it says that uh, uh, how come uh, a polymer which is uh, chiral in nature and isotactic is nature produced uh, from a catalyst uh, uh, which is uh, uh, achiral or non uh, uh, chiral so there is a, a element of uh, 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 of uh, sus suspicion as to how come uh, achiral catalyst produce uh, chiral uh, 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 product. Uh, so, uh, this uh, uh, is a, um, a, a counter intuitive question uh, which does not uh, satisfy the intuition that one can obtain isotactic polymer uh, from just TiCl4 and uh, diethyl uh, aluminum chloride which is the uh, ziegler natta catalyst which itself is a achiral. Uh, so, uh, this is the important question uh, which uh, uh, throws out uh, some more insight into the process of uh, 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 polypropylene polymerization under ziegler natta condition. And the uh, uh, second thing which comes out uh, of it is how does head to tail tail linking of propylene monomer occur. So, uh, this also is important uh, question because uh, head to tail linking means that uh, all the monomers are sort of uh, linked in a same fashion. Uh, so, if this become the head and this becomes the tail. So, this is head, this is tail, this is head, this is tail. So, head to uh, uh, tail linking, uh, uh, head to tail linking uh, happens all the time. Uh, uh, resulting a polymer of this type, uh, whereas uh, there can be possibility of tail to tail, head to head, uh, other possibilities they do not occur. So, uh, these uh, questions throws out important uh, challenges uh, on the uh, mechanism mechanistic part uh, that should explain uh, why such thing uh, is observed. Now, the mechanism for polyolefin uh, is best uh, given uh, by a mechanism which is called arman cosse uh, mechanism. Uh, which was given in 1964 and uh, which uh, 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 states that uh, free coordination site cis to a titanium carbon bond is crucial for the polymerization now uh, this uh, uh, at this uh, juncture uh, with this information this arman cosse reaction uh, mechanism does not explain uh, the full uh, or expl explain both the questions we had posed earlier about the isotacticity of the uh, mm, uh, 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 polymer pro polypropylene or about the head to tail uh, but uh, this uh, sort of explains uh, the second uh, part the head to tail mechanism uh, uh, arising out of this uh, process and it says that uh, head to tail results it says uh, 
sequence of of head to tail linking results in chain growth beta hydride elimination which causes chain termination. So, uh, uh, let us, uh, so uh, they explain uh, this Alman Kause, Alman Kause uh, uh, conveniently explain that the presence of a, a vacant uh, bond, uh, uh, the vacant site next to a growing alkyl chain is uh, essential uh, uh, for the uh, uh, head to tail insertion resulting uh, uh, in the uh, polymer growing polymer chain. But what it does not still yet explain uh, is the uh, reason for isostatic uh, polypropylene uh, that is uh, uh, observed during the ziegler natta polymerization. So, let us uh, just see the first second uh, aspect first that head to tail arrangement through the mechanism as is shown over here. So, H 3. So, this is the vacant site uh, which is occupied uh, by an olefin So, this is this uh, insertion step on this uh, vacant site occupied by uh, this uh, ethylene resulting in a polymer chain on this arm and the vacant site on top as is shown here. So, now the polymer chain has moved now the polymer chain has moved and uh, there is a, a vacant site over here. and uh, that uh, uh, then gets occupied by another 
polyethane molecule and uh, the reaction uh, then proceeds uh, further. So, the point to note is two things. One is that uh, first thing is that uh, there is a vacant site uh, Cis2 the titanium carbon bond uh, uh, followed by uh, this vacant site being occupied uh, by this propylene and then uh, the insertion uh, of this propylene unit into the bond as a result uh, this alkyl chain now shifts uh, to the side and another vacant site is created to which uh, this olefin now comes and uh, bind. So, this is called migratory insertion there is a migration of the alkyl chain which happens from this to uh, this. So, uh, and as a result if one were to take a look uh, that uh, uh, because of this oscillatory migratory insertion uh, there is a head to tail uh, head to tail uh, 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 joining of the propylene unit. So, all the methyls are pointing towards the same. Uh, uh, so, this explains uh, this explains uh, uh, the second question that uh, this propylene is formed in a head to tail uh, fashion. But uh, still uh, uh, a lot more remains uh, to be answered. Uh, the first question that why is it isotactic? Isotacticity would depend uh, on the uh, stereochemistry of this carbon. Uh, these are all carbon attached in a head to tail fashion. Tail linking of propylene. Uh, I to tail linking of propylene and then the uh, isotacticity would depend on the configuration of this carbon and for that uh, uh, to happen then the catalyst have, have to be a, a chiral in nature and that uh, can be uh, 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 explained uh, uh, this atacticity explained by uh, uh, the fact that uh, the stereo selectivity uh, or stereo selectivity uh, of uh, the ziegler nada catalyst is enhanced uh, uh, in magnesium support uh, uh, um, uh, uh, which uh, uh, are to be considered uh, in more uh, details. So, to uh, uh, explain the chirality one needs to uh, consider the fact that there is a huge increase in activity and stereoselectivity activity by anchoring the Ziegler not a catalyst to a magnesium chloride support. Okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, now uh, this uh, uh, is uh, something which is uh, important uh, observation uh, that uh, Ziegler not a catalyst. Uh, uh, when attached to magnesium chloride uh, provides uh, uh, isotactic uh, 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 polymers which sort of indic indicates that uh, there some amount of chirality in the catalyst supported catalyst is brought about by anchor anchoring the ziegler uh, 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 catalyst onto a magnesium support and we are going to explain uh, that. And the second thing uh, which uh, also comes into play is that acoustic and acoustic C alpha H to titanium. So, acoustic interaction between uh, C alpha uh, car, uh, alpha carbon uh, alpha proton to titanium interaction uh, 
may promote stereochemical fixing of the polymer chain. and bond uh, reorganization during the insertion step and the bond reorganization during during the insertion step. And this uh, more specifically is explained by the fact that the origin origin of stereoselectivity arise from chiral titanium site that allows enantio facial differentiation during coordination of of propene and this chiral occurs by by alkyl titanium unit unit in octahedral environment at a MgCl2 crystal surface. Now, this is a very powerful statement, it explains uh, this the nature of uh, isotacticity. It says that the origin of stereoselectivity arises from a chiral uh, titanium site uh, which allows enantiofacial differentiation uh, during the coordination of propane and that arise by the titanium alkyl unit uh, present in octahedral environment uh, in a magnesium Cl2 crystal. So, it says that when titanium uh, alkyl unit uh, uh, of Ziegler Nada a uh, catalyst with a growing polymer chain is present on a magnesium Cl2 crystal, uh, then the overall uh, the site, uh, the catalytic site uh, becomes uh, chiral and results in isotactic uh, polymer. So, this uh, can be best explained uh, by the orientation as is shown over here, titanium Mg these are chlorine Mg chlorine So, uh, uh, this uh, is the polymer chain and here is the vacant site. This 
this is the vacant site and this is the polymer chain. Now, let us uh, draw this configuration similarly. as is shown here. Mg this is the polymer and this is the uh, vacant site as is marked over here. This is the polymer chain and this is the vacant site and uh, uh, this is how uh, the titanium is uh, supported in the magnesium chloride crystal and um, these are chiral, chiral titanium site chiral titanium site. Now, when uh, the uh, olefin comes, when olefin comes then the binding of olefin happens in this uh, fashion. as opposed to uh, because of obvious reason uh, this one is favorable binding this methyl group and this polymer chain are further apart, unfavorable binding because now the methyl chain are uh, this asterically hindering and as a result uh, these uh, uh, results in facial discrimination of results in facial in anti facial facial discrimination in propene binding coordination leading giving isotactic polymer. So, this is a very important uh, uh, concept uh, which is shown that uh, this binding um, uh, is uh, unfavorable, uh, favorable uh, this facial binding uh, uh, and that leads to an anti-facial discrimination whereas, uh, this is uh, the interaction between this is not favorable uh, and that uh, uh, gives to gives rise to isotactic uh, polypropylene. So, with this uh, we come to the conclusion of uh, today's uh, lecture in which we have explained uh, the, res uh, the result of two things uh, which are uh, not uh, very obvious uh, from the erlman corsi reaction. First is uh, the head to tail uh, 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 by a linking of the polypropylene. Uh, uh, linking of propylene in polypropylene polymer and this is explained uh, by the fact that there is uh, a uh, vacant site cis to the growing uh, titanium carbon bond of the polymer chain. And second thing is the isotactic polymer, uh, the chiral polymer uh, being obtained from ziegler natta catalyst uh, and this has been attributed to a chiral site by formation of the uh, uh, titanium uh, uh, on the magnesium 
chloride crystal which re results in a chiral uh, environment around the catalyst and that successfully carry out uh, an antiofacial discrimination of the binding propane uh, which result uh, in isotactic formation of the polypropylene. So, with this uh, we come to an end of this today's discussion on polypropylene more uh, on the perspective of this interesting chemistry of polypropylene as we meet in the next class. I once again thank you for being with me in this next class more of the exciting stuff coming up in the next class where we see the catalyst uh, development uh, and walk you through uh, the various aspects of uh, polypropylene uh, chemistry in terms of catalyst design and polymer activity when we meet next. Till then goodbye and thank you.